Hi all, so I just wanted to add on to the TrueCrypt video that I created uh, just to expand on its use a little bit with something called Dropbox. Dropbox is a virtual, well it's a folder that exists on your computer and you put things into it and whatever you put into it a copy of it goes up to the Dropbox website to your own special password protected space. So um, by default with the free one you get two gigs of free space. Um, then what that means is, say you had another computer in the office, you could install Dropbox, put in your username and password, and that same folder would also exist on the other computer. So on, and if you make changes to any of those three places, either the online virtual space or either of the folders in either of the computers, so you add something or delete something, those changes will get reflected across all three places. So. Uh, just an easy way to access things without carrying around a memory stick. This can be a problem, I guess, you know, for security if you had a really um, sensitive file. So if you have a look at my other video on TrueCrypt, you can look up at how to set up TrueCrypt at um, TrueCrypt.org. And then you can actually create a TrueCrypt folder or volume inside your Dropbox. So let's have a look at how you would do that. Um, I've installed Dropbox here, and when you when the installer is done, it creates a little folder down here. Now, by default, it goes to your My Documents folder, and uh, it's inside there in a place called My Dropbox. So, what I've done here is I've created a folder called Dropbox Safe. So, let's go through the tutorial, and I'll show you how to do that. If you've installed TrueCrypt as per the instructions, you'll see TrueCrypt on the desktop. And if I double click on that, it'll pop up. We're going to create a volume. Just click OK on that, OK on that. We're going to select a file and we're going to go to the Dropbox. So it's in My Documents, My Dropbox. And we'll call this um, well, Dropbox Safe. For this exercise, we'll create it again. So I'll just call this one number two. So save, um, next, next. Just for this test, I'll just create a little one, one megabyte. You'll need to create this um, as big as it needs to be. Of course, you know, by default, Dropbox is only two gig in size, so it'll need to be smaller than that unless you pay um, for more space, which is which is um, a good option for some people. It's a great service, so um, go ahead if that's what you need. So if you're just doing things like, say, a little Myob or QuickBooks, you know, uh, file, you might only need something that's, say, up to, I don't know, 20 meg. Um, you need to check how large your data file is, or um, if you had some Excel spreadsheets or sensitive Word documents, this sort of thing. Um, they're usually not very large, so you could probably get away with 100 meg or so. Again, what you'll need to do is find out how much space you'll need, and then uh, put in the amount here accordingly. Okay, so it's really, really important to create a proper password, as I explained in the other video. For now, I'm just going to cheat and just put in something simple for the for the video, and ignore this warning for now. Right, uh, this is going over the last video as well, but you have to move the mouse around to create um, a secure algorithm. The more and more that the longer you do that for, and the more crazy the movement, the uh, the better. The, the algorithm is. So we press OK and then we exit. Right, so now you have to assign a drive letter to it. So just pick any one of these. Um, say we could, don't use D for Dropbox or actually the ones that aren't, you can't use D anyway because it's not available, it's used up by something else. So for this example, let's use letter R. And select the file. We need to go back into my documents, into my Dropbox and to Dropbox Safe 2. Taking some time here. And now I'm going to press uh, Mount. Put in the password again that we put in earlier. Press OK. And there it is. So how do we find it? Well, you've got to go to My Computer. I've put a shortcut on the desktop. You can find it in the Start menu, usually. And down here now we've got um, this disk called R.
and that is actually this but it's been mounted so everything you put in this place will be um, encrypted and when you close the computer this drive will dismount and just be um, sort of locked away inside this file here safe and sound so um, the other thing you can do is say you didn't want to shut down the computer but you wanted to have that stuff uh, no longer available you can go back to TrueCrypt here we go and just choose the one that you want notice that you can have multiple volumes I've got another one down here and we can dismount R and then it will disappear you'll no longer see it inside my computer it's gone um, the X one that I created earlier is because I haven't dismounted that and if we go back to my documents my Dropbox there it is there and I can't open that it won't let me okay so that's great that's how it's done